Emma didn't like me. The two two that Emma at least three months. Three months. The night that I saw my boyfriend. Hi. Welcome. So, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, this is. Rochelle, kidding, it's Rachel. So today, as you can tell by the title, we are getting into the nitty gritty, the truth of our friendship, where it all started about a year ago. It's a bit juicy. It's a little bit juicy. So <laughs> stuff, I don't actually know, she just found some stuff and I was like, don't show me now, you can show me when we're filming. Yeah. Which is actually some tech. I am very so, much exposing myself right now. But well, we're gonna do this through Snapchat memories. Yeah, so we were sitting around like two, three days ago and it came up with our Snapchat memories from the day that we moved into university next to each other and met each other. And we were like, we should make a video about this because we're going through them and it's a lot's changed since then. Yeah. And I think people, most people don't know that I actually was a fan of Emma before I met before her. Before she met me, before we moved in next to each other. I was a subscriber. And I didn't know this. And I played it real cool. You actually did. You actually did. Um, and now we're best friends, so... Yeah, I was like, yeah, she doesn't know who I am. This is fantastic. What you're here to see is our Snapchat memories. It's funny because we didn't know each other. Like, we knew we met each other on the first day. We weren't friends for like a week or so. So we're like talking about each other on our Snapchat memories. And then also what we were taking photos of and doing was like really similar. So I moved in and there's a lot of videos of me just showing my room. Like room tour, showing that I live under the bridge. And you also had a room tour. So, this is my room tour. Start over here. Shut a wall. Um, my bed. There. Outside. We both had very similar Desk. room tours. And then we both took photos, like selfies. So this is my first one when I woke up. In this so room. we both took like the same photo in our rooms. We got given these um, like university like merch tees. So we both put them on without obviously realizing. A yeah, we were like them. friends at this point. So, so like, we we're doing all these things like simultaneously, unintentionally. And then I guess it gets into more of like our friendship at this stage. So after like the first day in a bit, then we started like talking and we had a poor fitty. And so we needed to wear long appropriate skirts. clothing, long skirts, which I did not own. And this lessons girl had long skirts. Had long skirts. So like three or four of so us. So Emma awkwardly was like, nah, you're fine. But she was like, can I borrow a long skirt? And I was like, sure, you can borrow a long skirt. I took a long skirt and this is the photo I said I had to borrow the girl next door skirt. The girl next door being me. <laughs> but then this is the thing. Okay. I got the wrong impression of you right from the get-go. Like right when I first met you, I was like, wow, love her fashion, seemed like a cool girl. And then I borrowed the skirt. And then I had to wash the skirt after I wore it. So I just had it chilling in my room and then I went home to get my wisdom teeth removed for like three or four days. And I messaged Rachel and I'm like, hey, I'm so sorry, I locked your skirt in my room. And you're like, all good, if I need it, I'll get Liam to let me in, which is an RA. And I was gonna suggest that you let Liam let you into my room. But then when you suggested it at first, I was like, who does she think she is? <laughs> so, at the start of our friendship, Emma didn't like me. That's um, true. I always liked you. <laughs> but then eventually you started to like me. Yeah. This is some fun fact. When I first started hanging out with Emma, I didn't want to like take photos of her. Like I have heaps of selfies of like other friends like Morgan, but I didn't want to take selfies of Emma because I knew that she was like famous. So I didn't want to like do that and then make her feel like I was just there to like Full, full clout, pretty much. So I didn't take any selfies of her until like probably like two weeks in to uni. And you took a photo of And my... the first photo was a photo of her polar bear. And my dolphin. And then this is the very first Snapchat I have of me and Emma. And I was clearly really excited to make them just go set memories. And then this is like awkward stage. Me and Emma have been friends for two weeks. We're just starting to get to know each other. And then um, yeah, I think we let's just listen to it. Oh, 
she's like, oh, I just, it's just weird seeing my face on the screen. And I was like, yeah. I was trying to tell myself and it was fine. We ended up watching it together. So. <laughs> this is my first selfie with you. Same Our first photo birthday. ever together was on her birthday. Exactly a month after we moved in. What's this that? is the day we watched the video together. <laughs> so obviously I don't remember that. I, you must have come in and everyone must have come in and we were watching the videos together. Yeah, so it started off with you watching it and then I walked in and then Tay walked in and Levy walked in. Our first selfie together and you're not even looking. Okay, Emma's first appearance on my Instagram story. The 8th of March. The 8th of March when we went to church together. The first appearance of her on my Instagram story was the night that I saw my boyfriend for the very first time and I was like, he's cute, but we didn't talk to each other. Fun little fact. Okay, you need to find that text. I was a subscriber to Emma before I moved to uni. When the Facebook group chat came out, because College Hall put up a Facebook group chat, of like who was in college hall. And you could go see who everyone was. Yeah, you could was. sort people. So I saw that she was in college hall, but I didn't know she was gonna be on my floor. So I knew she was gonna be there, but I knew she was who she was, but like, yeah. Anyway, so once I saw Emma was living next to me, I sent a text to one of my high school friends called Emily. I've never heard this. I've never told her about I've this. I've never heard what this text And is. this is the text I sent. The tutu that Emma is the room next to mine. <laughs> Holy B! <laughs> That's the text that I sent to my friend at 11 o'clock. But then I played it cool. I didn't let her know that I knew who she was for like at least three months. <laughs> three months. Was that bad? Nah. Like I kind of lied to you. I didn't ask you though. I wasn't like, do you know who I am? I didn't go up to you and be like, oh my gosh, I'm a big fan of you. Oh, but then I wasn't like, hi, I'm Emma Stevens, do you know me? But I like knew that you were a Christian, so I was like, oh, like I can't want to be friends with her because we've got church. I remember like that first night when we were going to dinner and you like came and knocked on my door and like I opened it and you're like, you want to come to dinner? I'm like, yeah, I'll just put my shoes on. And I was just put my shoes on and you're like, have you ever been to church before? Or like, are you a Christian or something? I'm like, yeah. And then, and then I said, do you want to come to church or something? I knew you were a Christian and I just wanted to like, make sure. <laughs> During lockdown, we were like FaceTiming and stuff. And like with our group of friends we'd established in the first couple of weeks, like four weeks of uni before we got shipped out. And we were like, let's all go flame together. And their whole group minus one. You don't have to do that. So basically me and Emma spent like two weeks together. Because when we went back to uni, we didn't have actual classes. So we were like studying in our rooms and we were we studying didn't... online just together. Yeah, we didn't want to do it by ourselves. So then we'd like be like, hey, you want to come into my room? And then we'd like hang out. To sum it all up, we lived in different cities, moved to uni, next to each other. Rachel knew me, but I didn't know that she knew me. And then I didn't like Rachel because I thought that she was, I don't know what I thought, what I thought was wrong. When did you start to like me? Like, why did you start to like me? Well, because you know how at the start, like, I was back and forth between home because I had to get my wisdom teeth out. Yeah. And I, like, wasn't spending a hope of time with you. Once I actually started spending time with you, I was like, oh, yeah, she's cool. And then we became friends, and then we moved out for lockdown, and FaceTime, like, every day. Then we became really good friends, and now we're living together. And now here we are. Going to church together, living together. Doing life Doing together. videos together. And this all happened from a year ago, like, three days ago. Thank you, college hall. <laughs> That is all. Thank you for watching. This is the most random video. Fans can become friends of famous people. I was volunteering at university this morning and I was like walking to like go do my job and I was like, you know what, without YouTube, I wouldn't have moved, to, I wouldn't have met Owen, so then I wouldn't have moved to Hamilton, so then I wouldn't have met you, so then I probably wouldn't be going to church, which means I wouldn't be studying what I'm studying. You wouldn't have been serving in a rice? I wouldn't have been. And so, YouTube thanks has, YouTube. <laughs> YouTube has blessed me. Oh no, actually no, Jesus has blessed me. Oh yes, YouTube. he, that was his plan all along. That was his plan. God's plan. Thank you for watching, stay safe, stay well, make someone smart, and we'll see you.